Guys, we're at the Highland Show. We are literally T minus one evening to the start of the show. I met you, Callum, at Grand Bam Truck Show. Yeah. We were sitting, we were neighbours. Yeah. And we were talking about cleaning gear, and everybody knows we, you know, do sell a bit yeah. of cleaning gear. But I was chatting to you, and we were just talking about how the world had progressed, yeah. how your company was local. You were overseeing a few guys, you yeah. called in the seas. I set you a challenge. I says, when you're at the Highland Show, come, we'll detail the new lorry, because it's something that people want to see. Absolutely. And that way you talk me around your products. Yeah. No, 100%. And you came. I did. So obviously you Crash did. as well. I did. Believe <laughs> but obviously you believe in your products. Yes. So you've, we asked you to list out what you're going to use just on this. Now we know the truck is in, in generically clean, okay? Yeah. But we're going to have the detail. So this is what we're using. Yep. So right. our product range is basically our, our company is like a kind of next generation of the kind of cleaning products for the next generation of agriculture boys and girls, eh, haulage boys and girls, yeah. that commercial sort of scene. Started off as a car brand and they're now kind of slowly moving into that sector. So it is the cleanest truck that I'm ever going to get to detail in my life, but we'll try and feature the products as best we can. So this is what we, we, we sell as like almost like a pack to the guys that are turning up to truck shows or agricultural shows or whatever. And this is our kind of main staple product. So we've got a tyre dressing, interior dressing, tar remover, quick detailer, and then our citrus pre-wash and our glass cleaner. You could absolutely go to town, but you guys, it's a relatively new lorry, so... So your citrus pre-wash, is that for like looking for anywhere like bugs have been or yeah. anything like that? Yeah, there? so if we've got fifth wheel grease or any hydraulic grease or whatever that the guys have maybe been fixing things uh, or doing things before coming to the show and they've been touching things with greasy hands, we're going to kind of use that as like a pre-panel wipe sort of thing. So I'm just going to wipe over the truck with that just to make sure we get rid but of any grease and... You know, she was cleaned up at home, right? Yeah. Uh, but she drew the trailer over. Yeah. <laughs> so she worked on her way here. Yeah, exactly. She didn't. She didn't just miraculously appear. No, no, <laughs> no, no. The truck, the trucks haven't moved that far forward. So even like you can see, we've kind of got dirty marks and st stuff down here. That's maybe excess address and uh, and things, black marks and stuff down here. So first of all, we're just going to get rid of all the grease and all the the kind of. So it then. There. The likes of your tyre remover, you'd be looking for where I don't think you're going to have that issue just here today, but... For the last 10 minutes I've been walking around the truck trying to find one speck of tar, so that's going to be a great product video <laughs> to, try, to try and showcase that. I couldn't find a single bit, but uh, we'll maybe move on to your lorry and we'll, I'm sure we'd get a few on there. It might be more than tar, I mean, <laughs> but um, more glar as we would say. <laughs> so I the tyre remover and yeah. then quick detail and that's literally a spray on rubbing. Yeah, shine. Aye. Lazy man's polish basically, so it's a quick action polish, leaves a shine. So we do a range of coatings, waxes and moving on to polishes and stuff as well. So um, for whatever your need may be, then we, we can we can fulfil it. And like TFRs and all of that right down, you know, yep. obviously we're not at that stage here, but you're doing all of that. Yeah, so we do TFRs and everything. Again, everything's kind of next generation thought process. So uh, our traffic film removers contain no caustics and no acids. It's, it's, it's a very, very safe product, but it's very, very powerful. You, we've seen uh, guys making major kind of differences depending on what colour of units they're running. But I, I get all this, right? Yeah. Um, and I get that you don't want caustics and new paint and stuff, but yeah. You move then away from this lorry, yeah. right? You look over there, you have your world's largest mower. Yeah. That gets some layer of dirt around it and... Yeah. You maybe need a bit, do you not? No, not, no, not really. That is, that is the old generation way of thinking and it's because it's the way, right. we've, it's because it's the way we've made products for so long. It's, there's more not modern ways. <laughs> <laughs> there's, more, there's a lot of modern ways of yes. uh, making products. So we've obviously got our own chemical engineer who's been engulfed in this industry for years and years and he's like all about the kind of latest and greatest sort of technology when it comes to the chemical side. A bit beyond me to be honest, but that's that's his. And what's your history then with this company all for? So I, I'm one of the directors, but my experience through the kind of chemicals is that I owned one of the biggest detailing uh, centres in uh, Scotland. So uh, we would get cars from all over Britain, all over Europe, Ireland, trucks, um, tractors, you name it. We, we, we've done the whole lot. We've been so this is a walk in the park to you? Aye, so we've got a bit of grease and stuff on here. So again, a little wee quick wipe on here and spray it. And we're just going to wipe down this panel to cut out any of the grease. And you can see here, we've got kind of watermarks and grease and stuff up there. So we'll just give that a wee hit. Not too much product either. A tiny wee bit goes a long way. 
And what we're doing here is taking out all the oils, all the grease. So that if we do want to apply a wax, if we do want to apply a sealant or a polish, it's going to last. You can see it's taken out uh, all those greasy marks, Absolutely. but it's not left a finish on its yeah. own. So again, same, same thing here. Now what you want to be really careful with, uh, with some products that especially might have a caustic uh, or an acid, if I spray this straight onto this black, it's been sitting in the sun for, for probably the whole day. The minute caustic hits that, you're going to get a bad reaction. With a citrus pre-wash, you're not going to get that. So it's going to clean nice and easy, but without causing any of the damage. And I'm not leaving that product on there for 10 minutes to dwell in and make it work and all that sort of stuff. It's on there for two seconds. It's wipe on, wipe off, job done. And you can see it's not leaving sure, white streaky finish. And we're not using any water here. We're yeah. literally just using microfibers to wipe this down, so. So we'll use it on this one because you can actually see we've got some water spots that's and just stuff your, there. That's just your quick detailer. Quick detail, yeah. So we're not going to clean this, we're not going to do anything. I don't know if you've ever seen like kind of waterless washing products. If you've ever seen them on the market. They're really popular in the kind of car industry. But again, this this doesn't have the same cleaning power as citrus pre-wash, but it gives off an unbelievable shine. Uh, it's got anti-dusting properties in it as well. So when you're saying you guys, you've sent somebody out in the morning and give it a quick wipe down, you might find that you're wiping down the truck a lot less than what you would have been previously because the product should be working to stop the dusting landing on there in the first place. Just literally two wipes and we're getting rid of the water spots right away. So no aggressiveness, no nothing. A couple of spray, sprays on the panel. I'm going to give that one to you. <laughs> I can see that with myself. Even Stevie Wonder sees that one. Yeah. And it just leaves that that nice finish on there. Deletes all the water spots. It's got a lubricant in it as well. So when it comes to like say your body work or durabrites or whatever, they're so sensitive to getting swirls and scratches. And, and We're not a rebottling company for some other brand. We we are the company who make the products for other companies to rebottle. We are the manufacturer, it's us that are making the products. For the likes of the quick detailer, um, that has been in R and D before we before we launched it for about two and a half years before the launch. The ceramic sealant was a product that we started researching two days before two days after we actually launched the company and we're only just about to launch it in a couple of weeks time. So these products are the oh let's bring out a wax and we'll do it tomorrow. It's got to be well thought out. Like we're saying we're the next generation of kind of cleaning products so they need to do something a little bit special. These tyres are, are, are relatively good, um, so we'll not do it on this one, but we'll maybe give the we'll maybe give the front one uh, a little hit with the tyre dressing. Our tyre dressing can do a couple of different things. So what do you do? It's just oil and rub it in. Basically, so if you want a mega mega shiny finish, you can spray it and you can just leave it on there. You can go away. You can work in the, le uh, the rest of the tractor, rest of the unit, rest of the car, and come back, and that will just leave a really nice high gloss finish. It doesn't leave it sticky or anything like that. Um, so you see the way that's running there? Yep. Will that dry in? No, so that I don't need to I don't need to wipe that. No, so what that's what this is basically doing is it's trying to find the, the kind of dry particles, that's why it's running down. So again why we don't do a gel is a lot of the truck guys, tractor guys have all got these uh, tires with a big writing on the side of them. So if you do a gel and you just spray a, put a gel on an applicator and wipe across there, I don't know if you've yeah. ever noticed, you miss all the letters all the time. So that's why we spray it. So that's for a high gloss shine. If you want it to be a little bit more satin, you can just spray a little bit on your, your applicator. I'll just use a microfiber for now. Because some guys don't like the shiny finish. Now you see when you would come to doing a tyre set up like this, so we've yep. got our Jura Brights and we've got our tyre, would you be doing the tyre slick first and then finishing off wiping the Jura Bright? Yeah, so... it's very hard to get... Well, I'm not that good at pointing my gun like. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, that's exactly what you would do. So, you... Uh, we don't normally get the, the weather that we're getting blessed with now, so we can spray it and not have to worry too much, but again, that's what I would do, so... I would spray on my tyre dressing, let it soak in, let it do its thing, and then I'd just give it a quick wipe round 
So for you and, and us uh, here in Scotland, we suffer majorly uh, with rain. So we've made it a water-based tyre dressing. So if you drive out of here and it's absolutely teeming it down with rain, it won't be it won't be gone by a couple of minutes time. By the time you get down the road, you should get back to Ireland and that and that tyre dressing be in relatively good condition. It's got a conditioner in it, so it's literally bedding into the tyre, it's not one of the dressings that just sit on top. So like the watermarks as well, again, some quick details will be uh, full of waxes, full of canuba or silicon, whatever it might be. Now you've kind of got a satin kind of finish there, it's not a, gl yeah. a gloss finish, so if you were using those products, you, you would just have... You straight on your quick detailer st here. Straight on your quick detailer, so... What, what? What I'll have just I one side, go. What have I? Oh, see that. What have I didn't have in the quick detailer? I'm mean, gonna give that a run with the citrus. You can do it with the citrus. So you've seen the effects that we've done on the exhaust and, and the other panels. You could literally just wipe that down with the citrus. It's safe enough. It's safe enough. Another product you can do it with is an interior dressing. So again, it's used. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa! We're outside now, though. That's interior. Yeah, but again, if you're stuck and you don't have citrus and you don't have quick detailer. It's, it's a plastic finish, the same as what most of your interior is. So the product's designed for the the the, the basically it won't the crack and break any of these plastics on us or anything. No, they? it's all emulsified silicon. So again, the same token there. Use it, wipe it, done. But we're better sticking with the quick detailer. Yeah, it doesn't have as the the same properties that you would want from an exterior product. But I'm just showing you like the products can be multi-use uh, if you were really really stuck. I wouldn't walk walk around my lorry wiping it with the interior dressing. But no, but if you were there, if you were really stuck, you would have that option. So what you're doing here, you're going to strip this back. I'm going to strip this the tire back. dressing. Yeah, back. so you should see uh, all the tire dressing coming out here. So you should see it turn a potentially a funny colour of brown here just to strip this back so we're not going to leave it for any length of time so can you see it's starting to cut through yeah. the layers there of the tyre dressing so how did you get into this? Uh, I was uh, obviously had the detailing company and I was sick of buying products from about 20 manufacturers and I could only find that they made one or two products that I was really happy with. And I mean, it's the same as us, we're not going to make a product. Not every single person on the planet is going to fall in love with our product. Because some guys like silicon based, some guys love caustic based products, that's just the way they've... Well, 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 well obviously we understand the dangers of caustic. Yeah. Um, but it does eat through dirt. It does eat through dirt, but what the big change is happening now in the industry is everything's moved to water based paints. So, if you if you're using um, and water-based lacquers as well, which are a lot softer, a lot thinner, we don't have these huge, big three and four newton meter, meter coatings that we used to have on yeah. trucks or that. It's it's well, all water-based. Well, it's all, all soft. We all know heavy caustic TFRs. Yeah. Dull paint. So there you go. Yeah. We all know that. Yeah. Um, we all know the secret to shine is wax. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now leaving out names of other brands, yeah, I'm yeah. just saying that's... Yeah, 100%. But you're, but you're saying now the technology's getting there in these chemicals. Because, and I all know that silicon is regarded as, historically, has been able to give a lovely good shine. Yeah. You know the paint men don't like it. Yeah, yeah. So what we... One of the things that we've experienced is the likes of guys buying brand new equipment, brand new scannies, whatever it may be, brand new scar cars, the plastics are even getting thinner. So when you're using silicon paste products, Guys who have used it for 10 years on their old motor, it's worked fine. They've now switched onto the new motor and they're starting to use it and oh my god, the button labels are all faded away, the dash is starting to crack. All those sort of problems that they're now getting, which they never had before. Which is why we're a chemical company that's moving at the same time as the manufacturers, making products that's safe for the now, not 10 years ago, because it doesn't work anymore. Um, and that, that's why the big changes is, is needing to happen. There is a lot, a lot of companies are now moving to that, that uh, way, but this industry and the commercial and haulage and that sort of transport industry is definitely the the slowest to get the to that point. The, the, the price and the cost of that unit, the price and the cost to say that tractor over yes. there. And there's a trend now, young lads, older lads, it, you know, there's a massive 
move towards keeping your tractors, your cabs, your units all clean, yeah. inside and out. Yeah. It just seems to be a bit of a trend. It's like yeah. a fashion statement now, if Aye. you can keep it clean or whatever. So like you don't, the last thing you want to be doing is putting on any product that causes damage. Yeah. And we don't want to sell any product that causes no. damage either. No, uh, what, what we found is like, uh, one of the last things I, th I probably thought that we were going to become was a lifestyle or a culture brand. But what we're getting now is like young boys, maybe say anywhere between kind of the ages of 10 and 15, young boys and girls coming up and saying, seeing you on TikTok, Instagram, blah, 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 I want my dad to use your product. They'll buy it. Then all of a sudden the dad phones up, can I get 200 litres of that, by the way? Because I've been using the same stuff for 10 years and didn't know there was another option out there. Um, so it's just all those things. Everything's about education. And that's why... That's why your social media channels exist. It's not to give us flashy content. For us, we're trying to, we're not at that stage yet. We're trying to give people the education and why we've made the product and why it's available to the market. Right, so what are we doing now? Now I'm going to go around all of it and get it all finished. Right. Do you want me to get her up in the air a wee bit to give you a bit of Yeah, yeah, we can do the, the back tires, tires yeah. I, I have an assistant for that job. Right! <laughs> Is Ruth there? Tell her to bring her keys. <laughs> Roger. Hey, Callum, you've run around the lorry. Yes. It wasn't a big challenge for no. you. To be honest, I probably could have done it. <laughs> but um, you've just lined up most of your products here yeah but you've put a wee teaser in here because these are sandies yes flat, flat broke yeah but these aren't off the shelf products that you make no you've bespoke these for him yeah absolutely but this is your whole range so this this is your your tfr, TFR but yeah. no caustic no caustic yeah that's another tfr yeah it's a foam based tfr so it's like a more of a snow foam and um, some guys apply it through a pump sprayer, some guys want a foam, so we just gave them the two available products um, so that they have both to market. A lot of snow foams out there are a gimmick, so that's why I was telling you earlier, this is our most good chase product, it's the one we've spent the most money in R&D, so um, it's a foam that actually works, it actually cleans, you clean the, the more with I it as well. I did actually do those mores so, with it, yeah. yeah, yeah. So it's a, it's a powerful foam, but it's mega safe. And basically as we talked earlier on you have all your interior apc apc what's apc mean uh, all-purpose cleaner so it can clean leather plastics suede basically all, all surfaces it can clean so some companies bring out a dedicated leather cleaner some will bring out a dedicated fabric cleaner we brought one that does a lot but on the outside of this truck you use citrus for anything that was needed degreased yeah you then run around with your quick detailer yeah. on everything, including the alloys. Yeah. And then you have your tire dressing, and you went for the satiny type look. Yeah. Sprayed a little bit on, just give it a rub in. But if yeah. you want to go for a shiny look, bum 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 bum. Spray, spray loads on and walk away, and yeah. that be shiny. Yeah. But we did that because that was the kind of look we went for this truck. Yeah. Not shiny, shiny. Yeah. We also commented that our paint man did a good job. Tremendous job. Like that's car level. Uh, paint job because normally uh, I detail a lot of trucks and sometimes I'm like this has been painted in a shed and it's a lot of work but this was uh, this is a piece of cake to work on oh, I was trying to find problems to be fair because I'm a detailer and that's just the way we're wired but no this is like car level paint work it's tremendous and these, this is definitely by far my favourite satin stacks it's not something I've to be honest, I don't think I've ever seen that before but no you possibly haven't no, no, no you possibly it's, haven't uh, which makes it dead so unique yeah, well, look, that's the bottom line. Thanks for coming. No bother. Thanks for rolling around the truck and showing us your products. No As problem. I say, we do sell products at Grassman. Everybody yep. knows that. 100%. I won't use names because I don't want that's, that's unfair. Because, yeah, yeah. But you said, I'll come, I'll show you. We've seen, we like. The fact that you're here talking us through it means a lot because I think we don't want, I don't want to see this industry becoming a gimmicky industry. Yeah, yeah and people not know what to do no. now we know what we have done is work and work well but as i say yep and here who knows you know watch out sandy <laughs> 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 not fair play that'll do no i thank you appreciate it and yeah i know it wasn't a massive challenge no. for you really but we'll get on canes next you might need to book a wee bit more of a <laughs> <in. laughs> no what do you think kane you're after the right wrong man now <laughs> i've been cleaning yeah. 
What should he take with him to the shower in the morning? Do you have anything strong enough? Do you still have that caustic TFR? <laughs> 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 no, but they're very good, man. No, and I, do, thank I you. Do, do appreciate it. And look, it's great to make a bit of content even 100%. before the show yep. and showcase what happens. And uh, sure, if we do go any further, hopefully yep. we do. If we do go any further, we can maybe get a wee bit more of an insight into how you do it and what you do because it sounds like you have a chemist that we can talk to and get a little bit of the science behind it. Yeah, 100%. Absolutely. If, uh, and people like to know. Yeah, hundred percent. People, this is what I said to you before. The the, <laughs> the access to the information is there now. Even, so. even if they don't understand, they like to hear the fancy words. Oh yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. Good no, man, definitely. thank you, Cam. Thank Cheers, you very buddy. much, boys. Cheers.